Hello, my name is Stuart, the Unrecommended Atheist. Thanks for tuning in. This is my uh, weekly roundup video where I discuss um, what's been going on with my channel and apologetics, counter-apologetics, the atheist experience, Matt Dillahunty and all that kind of stuff and, and any other issues which I've been thinking about. So what I'm going to be talking about today is um, I'm, going to be, I'm going to be saying something amusing a bit later on about uh, Matt Dillahunty and Jimmy Snow on the line because they spent uh, they spent 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe talking about uh, toilet matters, which I found really amusing. But um, moving on to the uh, veganism thing, obviously my channel is uh, mainly uh, obviously atheist channel, and I try not to get it. I try not to go outside of atheism partly because the YouTube algorithm, if it sees me too much looking at other topics I won't get the uh, I won't get the placements in the algorithm obviously to get people to come visit my channel and the more people that visit my channel the more I feel like making quality content so you know if things start going downhill which they will do if I keep making sort of videos about vegan matters or you know that kind of thing but the reason that I've made that video on uh, Alex O'Connor, of course, is that he's a well-known atheist, counter-apologist, very skillful young man, very intelligent. And uh, he, I suppose he's been beating the vegan drum for the past few years. He's had various uh, arguments with Matt Dillahunty, etc. And, and then we get this amazing news that he's, um, he's deconverted. He's still sympathetic, of course, with the cause, but he's found that it doesn't agree with his... Um, health so we don't know his exact reasons he hasn't been incredibly specific so i look forward to hearing that however making that video and um uh has made me realize that uh, i need to address i need to address these issues myself you can't you can't be a so-called critical thinker and uh somebody who supports equality of opportunity is against bigotry, etc., etc., and not think about the welfare of animals. So, having having done some reading and uh, considered various arguments and thinking about my own conscience, conscience, and how I feel about animal welfare, factory farming, and all that kind of thing, I've I've decided um, on a particular course of action. So before that. What I've been reading, I've been reading um, somebody by the name of Jordi Kazam Itjana. He he lives in London. He's a British citizen. He grew up in Catalonia, and he's a vegan activist. So I read through what he'd got to say, and I found myself agreeing with a lot of his reasoning. Uh, in particular, I agree with his reasoning concerning economic growth. I've wondered why, a long time I've wondered why we have to have shops full of absolute junk that people don't really need in order that we can all um, earn enough money to live reasonable lives. I've wondered why in this world we have to have all this plastic rubbish in the shops, um, stuff that people buy and that they you know, put in their flats or houses and it's just clutter. They look at it, they get some pleasure from it from a brief period, and then they and then they never bother with it. I wondered why all this junk has got to be in the world in order that people can live their lives and that we can have a robust economy and that people and that uh, we can live prosperously. And why can't we why can't we have an economy in which all the products which are produced have got genuine uh, useful value to people? not just useful value, but also ethical value. So I found myself agreeing with him on quite a few of these things. Personally, um, I'm a minimalist. I like to have as few things as possible. I, I divorced two years ago. The amount of junk that we accumulated over 20 years was absolutely unbelievable. And I was glad to leave all of that behind and um, throw throw a lot of it you know obviously get rid of it get rid of most of it that i could personally get rid of and uh you know it was good to finally be in a position where i could just buy the things which i felt were useful for myself and not buy 
all these ornaments and uh, silly electronic gadgets that you know might be amusing to have for a short time but in the end you know when they come to the end of their life what's going to happen to them they're just going to sit in the ground for uh, billions of years in the earth polluting the earth so I've got a lot of I've got a lot of uh, sympathy with uh, ecological uh, concerns pollution and all that type of thing and it would seem inconsistent in myself not to extend that to uh, other spheres such as animal rights so well I'm not going to become a vegan and I'm not going to become a vegan activist but I think that well we've got the uh, definition from the vegan society of veganism I'm just going to read that out because I found it quite interesting veganism is a philosophy and a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food clothing or any other purpose and by extension promotes the development and use of animal free alternatives for the benefit of animals humans and the environment in dietary terms it denotes the practice of dispensing with all products derived wholly or partly from animals okay so um, as I said I'm not going to I'm not going to become a vegan um, but reading that I've got a lot of sympathy with that statement about what ve what veganism is and I think that probably the phrase which resonates with me is um, as far is as possible and practicable that's going to be different for every single person and I know I know what I would find acceptable just because I can't do everything in terms of what a vegan might do doesn't mean that I should do nothing so <clears throat> for me what is possible and practicable is to give up red meat to give up poultry and basically um, any animal protein that does not come out of the sea I can't give up well I won't give up uh, fish um, I've said so in a previous video and I don't want to I don't want to revisit that but I think that I could become a pescatarian and what that would mean is that all those screaming pigs uh, chickens in factory farms being mistreated those lambs that you see in these big trucks being transported to abattoirs um, <clears throat> all that mistreatment and cruelty to animals I will no longer be a party to so I don't expect any praise for that and no doubt I'll be condemned for not going the whole hog because I'll still be eating uh, fish I don't care about that I'm doing what's comfortable for me and I admit that I can't do everything but at least at least I can do something I won't really be honest with you you know fish and meat that type of thing sorry not fish chicken chicken and meat I can live without it I mean I mostly eat fish anyway so it's not really too it's not really too big of a sacrifice I will be in situations where I will have to eat um, chicken or meat occasionally for example when I visit my mother she likes to make me a meal when I go you know I only visit her about once every two or three months and if she puts out uh, chicken in front of me I'm not going to bang my hand on the table and say where's that chicken from come from how's it been killed it's been mistreated no of course I'm not going to do that so it, obviously in those situations I will be uh, if I find myself in that kind of situation uh, no doubt I would just eat the chicken or whatever it happens to be uh, in restaurants eating fish isn't a problem if I go out with people there's always fish on the menu that's fine so in terms of clothing and other stuff um, you've probably noticed I wear the same bloody jumper all the time I'm not really one that uh, has got an extensive wardrobe uh, this is actually a lamb's wool jumper uh, obviously the clothes I've already got I'll be wearing um, I won't be buying any new clothes that are derived from animal products I may, I may buy uh, a woolen jumper in a charity shop that kind of thing where the thing has already been bought so I'm not contributing to the industry which is exploiting animals in that way shoes well 
you know, I'm really cheap. So I buy cheap shoes. I already buy imitation leather shoes. So I'm doing okay there. Actually, imitation leather is much better than it used to be. I've got imitation leather shoes and actually they're surprisingly good. So I'm okay with that. Cosmetics and stuff. Well, I mean, I don't use cosmetics anyway. So uh, drugs that have been tested on animals. I don't really take anything. If, if I'm in a position where I need to take drugs, um, obviously for my benefit of my health, and I'm prescribed uh, medicine by a doctor, I admit I'm not going to go out there and find out what it was tested on. I'm just going to take it. So there you are. That's, that's my position. So um, I feel that uh, as a result of this decision that um, I'm more ethical than I, I will be more ethical than I was before. Um, evaluated by my own rules, my own standards, and probably the standards of other people. I'm not doing that for any praise or anything. I'm doing that because uh, it sits more comfortably with me, uh, sits more comfortably with my conscience, and you know, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not involved. I'm not uh, indifferent to um, what's going on in the abattoirs and farming and everything. I've known for some time that there's a lot of cruelty that goes on. So I think that this decision of mine is long overdue. I've caught fish before and I've killed them myself uh, and I've eaten them. So I don't really feel that I'm being hypocritical in uh, eating, you know, eating fish. Um, I'll just tell you a little anecdote. When I was married, I had an allotment, we had an allotment and uh, we were going to buy in a goose for Christmas. and. My wife said, look, we've got an allotment. Why don't we buy a couple of goslings, raise them, <laughs> and uh, we'll kill one of them for Christmas. <laughs> and I said to her, oh, no, do we have to do, we have to do that? Uh, I wasn't really looking forward to that. Uh, and she said, oh, you know, um, don't be a hypocrite. You know, you'd eat these things and let other people kill them. We'll do it ourselves. Said, well, OK. So we went and bought a couple of goslings. And we built a pen, you know, we built, you know, housing for them and everything. But I must admit, when it came to Christmas, um, neither of us could do it. Why? Because, you know, they kind of turned into pets for us. And I mean, the thought of holding one of those huge animals down and chopping its head off, I must admit, um, was slightly uh, distasteful and repugnant to us. And we did have a conversation at the time that, you know, we're a couple of hypocrites were letting this go on in the abattoirs and everything. And yet, so, yeah, I can see, you know, I can see that I, I have been hypocritical by, I wouldn't be prepared to do it myself. I would shy away from watching the cruelty, but at the same time, eating the products. So, well, I'm no longer doing that. And just as a footnote to those geese, uh, they actually, one was a male, one was a female. They actually... That female, actually, she laid about a dozen huge eggs and uh, she produced um, 10 of them hatched out. It was absolutely unbelievable. We ended up, unfortunately, four of them died uh, for reasons beyond our control. Uh, that's just how it goes. And the rest of them, uh, I've got photographs, actually, but we, we ended up selling them to another plot holder, a lady that was keen on that kind of thing. So... But yeah, no, we couldn't do it. Um, my wife did kill a chicken uh, a couple of times when, um, I mean, we, we kept chickens, free range them, had the eggs. And uh, she did actually kill a couple of chickens. And I must admit, it was a horrendous experience. So, okay, well, I'm putting all that behind me now. No more chicken, no more, no more meat, um, but I'm still eating fish. I've killed fish, so um, that's how it is. That's my that's my way forward, and I continue to try and consume as little as possible in terms of all the plastic rubbish, all the plastic bottles, and Coca Cola, and all this junk and all this. I mean, it really annoys me when I go into the supermarkets and I see bottled water and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do actually think that they should put taxes on all these plastic containers and everything. And we know that the recycling of plastics is a sham because most of it gets shipped out to the Far East. Well, that's enough. Just briefly then, okay, let's put, let's put that behind me. Um, I'm not going to do any more on veganism, but that's my decision. And that's what I've decided to do. I won't be coming back to that topic. 
Um, yeah, so Matt Dillahunty uh, on the line. I'm going to be doing a couple of clips from there and commenting on them, but uh, the, the conversation did take a sort of a bit bizarre twist towards the end. And uh, Matt Dillahunty and Jimmy Snow have both got bidets in their bathrooms. And um, I'm sure most of you know what that is, but I did find it a bizarre kind of conversation that they had that, you know, they were extolling the virtues of a bidet, um, which actually, uh, personally, I live alone. I work from home. I spend most of my time in my flat. Um, I mean, I don't want to get crude about it, but um, uh, after I've uh, moved my bowels, uh, I have a shower. Plenty of hot water, plenty of soap. It goes in the right direction down. Well, of course, I use toilet paper, <laughs> toilet paper before I get into the shower. Of course I do. But I just wondered with Matt, he's not using toilet paper. Uh, he sits he sits on his bidet and, uh, you know, he's apparently, I don't believe he uses his hands either. It must be a really powerful jet of water. And I don't know how he stops it from splashing up and going all over the place. Um, that's really amazing. So, yeah, well, good for him. And I, if, um, I mean, you know, do whatever works for you. But... Uh, if I meet him, I won't be shaking his hand. Okay, that's all for me from me. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again with with more videos soon. Bye for now.